Give your iPhone 15 Pro Max series starting every 2-3 minutes. Such frequent and random reboots can be caused by software bugs, app conflicts, or even be a hardware problem. If you face such issues then you are in the right video. In this video, we will discuss about the step-by-step -step process to identify and resolve the problem effectively. This process works on any 15 series iPhone like 15, 15 Pro, 15 Pro Max. Many iPhone users have faced such strange issues. In such cases, the iPhone works like normal. After you upgrade the iPhone for 2-3 minutes, then reboot itself. If you are visiting us the first time, then don't forget to subscribe and give feedback about the video. The major cause for that issues is force dropped water which affects some sensitive sensor of your iPhone. In such case, iPhone reboots on 3 minutes. I am using iPhone for some time and time restart, so this may show below 2 minutes to restart. Now you can see iPhone reboots after a few minutes. If the iOS device randomly crashes on use, then it captures the panic log data. This panic log on the iPhone is detailed report generated by the OS and information about what occurs in the system just before crash or restart. Panic log are especially helpful in identifying hardware related issues. In some cases, this log directly points to faulty hardware that helps for a targeted repair. If you want to see your panic log data, then tap on setting, scroll down, tap on privacy and security, scroll down, tap on analytics and improvement, tap on analytics data. Scroll down till panic full log by the name don't find. Before going to the judgment or restart issue, first clearly observe the panic log data and go to the solution. Open last panic log full. Here you have to understand the log data. SMC panic has a recent failed sensor array. OX 3 5 times 0. This panic log clearly shows some issues on charging flex. If you found your log different, then find your from here. Let's check the PCB status, which looks normal and has no sign of water. If you buy third party charging flex, then make sure first that is working properly. Always test with OEM or premium flex. Most aftermarket flexes have a high defective rate. I am here using the flex from the donor iPhone. I skip the video of replacement charging flex. This makes show time and videos go long. Let's check, we go with the timer again.
the timer crossover 3 minutes and is still not restarted means this problem was fixed. Means this problem was fixed. If you have any query about the video, please leave a comment below or you can tell how you fixed your restart issues on your iPhone. If this video helped you, don't forget to give a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel DGSM Solution for more effective tips and tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. See you in another video. Peace out.